Today is the feast of the martyrs of Japan, 26 Franciscans, Jesuits, and lay people who were killed on crosses in the year 1597. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and in 2012, the bishops of the 16 dioceses in Japan issued a letter commemorating the 150th anniversary of the martyrs' canonization. In it, they talked about the challenges facing the people of Japan. And I have to admit, the challenges they mentioned include some that we in the U.S. also face. Besides the rebuilding that needed to be done after the earthquake and tsunami of 2011, they spoke of the following challenges. Economic stagnation, a declining birth rate and an aging population, a frequent occurrence of suicides, materialism, and the principle of living only for the present. I couldn't help thinking that these are related to one another and have to do with a spiritual crisis. Materialism, or living only for wealth and the material comforts which can be bought, is related to the principle of living only for the present. It's behind the old idea, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. Or, as the beer commercial goes, you only go around once in life, so you gotta grab for all the gusto you can. And so, when economic stagnation comes along and is joined by the problem of less taxpayers due to a declining birth rate and an aging population of baby boomers retiring and drawing on Social Security, well, you could say we have the first generation in history that believes they won't be better off than their parents. In other words, it leads to hopelessness and despair. This is why the new evangelization is more urgent than ever. We need, in the words of Pope Francis, the joy of the gospel, and we need to share that joy and the hope it gives with the world.